Well, we are drying out out there tonight as the last bit of rain moved through just a little while ago. This is the line that came through earlier. It was a fast mover. It had some quick uh, moderate to heavy rain with it, and then it pushed on off to the east very quickly. It's all out of here now, pushing well off to the east. Just a few of those showers from Warrington down to Davisboro. That's well to the east of Lake Oconee, moving over toward the Augusta area. And that is the line in association with the actual cold front. Now that that has moved on through, You've been hearing the wind whipping up outside, and that's with that northwest flow on the back side of the front and on the back side of this area of low pressure. Look at that. We've got some snow in parts of Tennessee. We're not going to get any of that here. Maybe a couple of flurries up in far north Georgia during the overnight hours. But as this low pressure system moves up to the north and east, it is going to cause snow in the mid Atlantic region and in the north and east. That may cause some travel delays tomorrow in some spots. Uh, so you'll want to check ahead before you go up to the north and east during the day tomorrow. Back here at home though, and this is in northwest Georgia, this is another view of the flags up in Rome that we're watching. Just look at them, how they're whipping up, and that just goes to show you how strong those winds are right now. So here's a look at that wind advisory that is in effect. We've got these winds overnight, 20 to 25 miles an hour sustained, some gusts though up to 40 miles an hour. That is bringing down some trees. We have seen some power outages already, not widespread power outages, but just some of those power outages around. Take a look at some of these wind gusts. 27 mile an hour wind gusts right now in the Atlanta area, 31 mile an hour wind gusts in Carrollton, and in Rome, where I just showed you that tower cam, 33 mile an hour wind gusts. And we're going to have these strong winds overnight tonight. In the morning, still some winds between 20 and 30 miles an hour gusting there, but then things start to come down a little bit during the day. Doesn't totally go away, but just remaining breezy during the day. And then finally, not as windy as we get into Tuesday night and into during the day Wednesday. Look at these temperatures. This is really interesting. We held at 58 degrees from 10 o'clock this morning until 7 o'clock this evening. And then once that front moved through, those temperatures are falling. So here's what we expect tomorrow. We're going to wake up kind of chilly down to 39 degrees, then get up to 54 in the afternoon. We're going to have plenty of sunshine around here during the day. And then as we go through the rest of the period, we are going to see those temperatures warming up a little bit more. We're talking about 61 degrees here Wednesday, 64 Thursday, plenty of sunshine. Then the next chance for rain comes in late Friday into early on Saturday. Then we clear out for the rest of the day Saturday, cool off again with lows back to the 30s and highs in the 50s.